comes to mantises, what comes to mind first? Surely many people would think that it must be the powerful, exaggerated, crescent-shaped forepaws that can kill prey at any moment. And the scariest thing is that they use their powerful weapons to end their mates. While the mating is not over, not even taking place, the head of the male mantis has already entered the abdomen of the female mantis. Hard to believe, isn't it? Find out with us now. Male praying mantis calls for help after mating. It is estimated that about 25% of male mantises are eaten alive by their partner during mating. This is the traditional mating diet of many mantis species in the wild, and perhaps people are all too familiar with this. Hey, mating? Yes, but please don't eat me. Okay, get in here. Despite many times witnessing other male mantises being mercilessly eaten, the sweet words of the female mantis made the male mantis fascinate and fall into the love trap. The end of the lovers is this. The male mantis even has his head eaten during mating. Hey mantis, why did you eat my head? Can you guess? Although only 38 of the 2,400 mantis species have been recorded with this behaviour. Seven of them have been confirmed to engage in cannibalism before mating can take place. Although the head was eaten, the male mantis still had to do his job. It has to dedicate itself to death and bring out what is most precious to the female mantis. And of course, not all male mantises are willing to endure these things. They still want to be loved again and again. The only way the male mantis can escape this love trap is to quickly jump off the back of the female mantis after mating. To cope with the danger of a mate, the male mantis usually only dares to approach and mate when the female is full, or has caught enough reserve bait. Hey, you're full right? That's right, come here, I promise I won't eat you. According to scientists, although many people hate the brutality and callousness of the female mantis when accepting mating, the male mantis is ready to make sacrifices to make the next generation more fertile, chances of survival and healthy growth. Hey, what are you doing? You promise not to eat me. Sorry, I'm hungry again after mating. I have to eat you. Eating this mate will help the female get more protein. This protein can be absorbed by them very low. Instead, it is transferred to the egg that the male has just fertilized. In other words, this cannibalism helps the young mantises get their main nutrients from their ill-fated father. Cannibalism is the technical term to describe this action of mantises, which refers to the behavior of organisms that attack and hunt mates before, during, and after mating. Usually the female eats the male. Although scientific experts have used various theories of the law of evolution to justify the phenomenon of females eating their mates before, after, or during mating, the theories are that they still cannot clearly explain answer questions such as, is this a measure to prevent sexual partners from mating with other animals? 
Why are many animals even eaten by their mates right before intercourse? According to statistics, up to 80% of cases where the female eats the male, the reason is still unknown. Some theories suggest that this simply depends on the size of the female, which is always somewhat larger than the male, and that the period of approach before, after or during mating is a great opportunity for them to act. There are many questions that arise. Females decide to mate with males more because of the attraction of delicious food than being attracted by a mate. I really haven't figured it out yet. What's your opinion? Like the mantis, the female spider will eat her mate during mating. But in this spider, once falling into the trap of love, it is almost impossible for the males to escape from the female spider. The reason for this is that during mating, the male will ride on the female's mouth to transmit sperm. At the same time, the female redback spider will secrete digestive juices to eat the male. Although only enjoying happiness once in a lifetime, the spider will be extremely proud because it has dedicated and sacrificed its whole life for its beloved children. I imagine the male spider would say this to his mate like this before he left. Hey female spider, I sacrificed myself to save you, live well and raise your children up to adulthood. Eating male spiders will help female spiders have a rich source of nutrients for embryos to develop, and the death of the male spider is not in vain even if it's extremely grateful to the female spider. The scorpion killers are also brutal cannibals. Scorpions are arachnids and animals with very interesting mating rituals. This could be seen as a match of wits between males and females. Let's dance together. During mating, the male will initiate a dance to attract the female. In fact, the male is trying to find a place to place the sperm sac in the female and the female will actively overwhelm and nudge the male's head to make him dizzy to carry out his plot. The scorpion females will eat their partner right after the moment of mating. This is a cruel hobby of theirs. How do you feel about this hobby? Comment down below your opinion. Today's video ends here. Thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe this video to help us out. And goodbye and see you in the next video.